Welcome back, everybody, to Storm Simulator, <laughs> also known as Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, the game is continuing to burn down the forest around me. Oh, for Pete's sake. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd bring you back a little sooner uh, than I was uh, planning to, just because I'm changing a couple things up from, uh, you know, what we were doing the last time uh, in the last episode. So, first of all, I, I went ahead and upgraded the whole front to glass, including the little triangular pieces, and I think I like it better than what we had before. So, we got that done. Um, I started working on getting a little uh, porch set up out here, and these, um, these foundations with the uh, with, with these little angular supports are a real pain in the butt to attach, um, you know, at that direction. It, uh, it wants to go like the opposite direction and, you know, pressing R does not help to rotate it. So I had to, um, I had to get like really close up against the wall and just kind of move the mouse a little bit to get it to, to angle the right direction. Uh, so anyway, we started working on that. Uh, but one kind of big change that I'm going to make here uh, is that I decided that I'm going to run some foundation pillars um, up to the roof in this spot, in this spot, uh, for a couple of reasons. One, I think it'll look cool and, you know, seem realistic, uh, but also um, it'll help, you know, with support. Now, I know I can run angled beams up the ceiling for that purpose, too, and I probably still will do that, uh, but I thought, well, it might look cool to put the pillars uh, up here, too. Uh, also, as you can see, I started working on the arrangement or the design, I guess, of how we're going to build the roof on the wings. So I was using these um, these roof corner pieces along with the normal roof corners uh, to, you know, make that work. So I think that's going to turn out and look pretty cool. Now, it's my intention to put the generators up here in this little attic once it's finished um, so they're out of sight. Uh, but over here on the crafting side and then, you know, try and figure out a way to run wiring in such a way that it's, uh, uh, you know, as out of sight as possible because the wiring in this game is a little, uh, it just doesn't look good. So anyway, that's the plan. Oh, looks like my, uh, oh no, these withered crap. Okay. Yeah. I haven't checked them in a little while. Um, I just now noticed that. Fortunately, it was just the soybeans. So, yeah, let me uh, let me get these harvested really quick. I've, I've been uh, out harvesting a bunch of wood and a bunch of stone and, you know, kind of logging in and out of the game and dealing with other real life stuff, too. So kind of lost track of my crop. So it looks like we got everything still here except for some soybeans. So I'll go grab some of those. Let me get that taken care of first, and then uh, we'll get started with some more building stuff here. All right, so uh, we're back. Let's uh, go ahead and grab these foundations. We're going to press R, and we're going to change it to the uh, pillar foundation, which is thicker than the normal pillars, A, and B uh, stays centered instead of off to the side. And so what we're going to do is run these up um, as high up. We should have five on each side, two. You have to kind of... Three, four, and five. There. Um, and so those will basically stay that way and be, you know, nice looking pillars in the center of the room. Um, I don't know if you can. Yeah, well, yeah, never mind. I just answered my own question. So let's move on. <laughs> uh, okay, so we got that done. Now, um, I think what we're going to do next is we're going to continue just building out the roof. And we'll have to see if we need. If we're going to need to put these beams in too or not. I might still do it anyway just, you know, because I think it looks nice. Uh, but let's see, just see what, if the game um, actually requires it or not. I'm going to put uh, that stuff in there for now. Okay, so... Let's grab these... And I think, can I get that all the way at the top? Yeah, okay. So that foundation's actually not completely touching up there. 
but there's no no way I can get it to. It's still supporting it. Otherwise, those those roofs would be crumbling right now. Um, so we're just going to have to ignore it as best as we can. I can't put one of those little triangular pieces up there because those only attach to the, the edges of the roof, not the center of the roof. So we're just going to pretend like that's touching up there and we can't and not worry about it because that's all we can do uh, with this setup. Okay, good. Now, um, the next thing we want to do is, um, you know, I really probably need to build out the wing roofs, kind of like I've done here as we go along. Um, so let's do this. Let's get that ramp up there. And we want to grab the wings. I'm going to have to make some more of these. And get them in place there. Oh, for goodness sakes. Now, well, everybody wants a piece. Okay, we got more wolves coming in. I, I need to make some more ammo. knife this guy and there's one more pig coming it is it is nice to have basically an endless supply of uh, meat and fur and bones and stuff but sometimes it's a pain in the ass too so th this is kind of weird placement for these if you guys haven't mess with this before basically if you the further away you stand you, you can't get it to go the right direction so you have to kind of get right to the edge um and then move your cursor past and then it flips it over uh, it took me a little while to figure out that that's how that works so yeah it's just a little odd but yeah that's the deal there all right now let's come up here and um i think we put that one in too Okay, and then we're going to come up here, and now we're going to grab these. And that one goes there. That's correct. Jump up here. And then this one, I think we have to flip it to this one. There we go. Good. All right. Now, here we have to take this roof piece out. Let's grab these. And you have to, let me jump up here so and look this way. All right, now we have to invert these. So one of them's going to be this one, and the other one's going to be this one here, I think. Yeah, just like that. So yeah, you just have to kind of mess with it. Um, And they don't, you know, these roof pieces don't clip into each other like they do in like Ark, Survival Evolved, and Conan and some of the other games. Uh, so you have to put the actual angle in these spots, uh, which is fine. That's just the way that it works. It took me a little bit of finagling to figure that out. Um, okay, so we have completed the roof up to this point, And now what I want to do is I think we'll finish out the wings first because then we know what we have to work with um, on the main roof there. Okay, so that being said... Um, let's go ahead and move our cursor right there, put that piece in, and then this will go here and that will go there. And then we're going to need to put some more angled pieces in here. So we'll go back to this, and then this one it needs to be this. There, there we go. The game kind of knows what we're trying to do now. And we are out of pieces. So what I'm going to do is cut the camera and just keep building this out. I, I think you guys get the basic idea. So I'll probably won't bring it back until I have the entire uh, roof built out on the house. Now we are going to do something about that too. And that something will probably be... Um, 
Yeah, because it's, hap it, it's happening from that, excuse me, that triangular piece there is what's causing that. So one thing we could do, I guess, is, is put stone beams uh, at an angle up there. If I do that, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. But it's it's on the on the to do list to to figure out. So okay, guys, I'll bring you back in a while. Um, hopefully, if nothing else exciting happens between now and then, the roof should be completely finished. Uh, we'll finish out that wall too with glass when I bring you back, and then we'll move on to the next thing. One, once we get the roof in place, then of course we can actually put the floor in here. Um, oh, I was going to tell you one other thing before I let you go. Um, because this is going to be open down here. I'm going to try and run, you know, wiring and plumbing and stuff down in this lower area so it stays hidden. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work, but that's uh, the plan at the moment. So, okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. And we have finished the roof of our awesome house here. So, um, what we're going to do today is we're going to work uh, primarily on some interior stuff. Um... I was thinking about building the loft up here, and I still might for our bedroom, but we have all this room up above the kitchen here, and I might just make a bedroom up there at least for now. Uh, this area up here, I mentioned this to you guys already, is going to be for uh, generators. So we're going to be putting generators up there. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to actually put an open fire pit down here, I think. Think? Did I make one of those already? I sure did. Okay. Uh, I thought that would look neat in the central hall here. Um, so let's go ahead and get this down and get it more or less lined up. I uh, could go that way a little bit more. So let's try it. Whoops. Uh, let's try this again. All right. So. Right about there, and maybe over further that way. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It still could probably go over a little further, but it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Plus, just close enough, just so it's not an eyesore. And uh, yeah, we'll have a nice little fire burning in the middle of the hall here. Okay, so we got that done. Uh, now. Um, I'm going to replace the stone flooring with wood flooring uh, pr on both sides. I just had the stone up there, you know, because for a while there, this was our actual building. Um, so we had the stone up there for the elements. So let's go over to our crafting station here. And I started making um, some of those pieces. So let's grab those. And we got some walls here, too. And um, how many more can we make? Yeah, we're going to need all of those. So let's make those. I'm going to grab some more beams, too, and I made a few rails as well. Uh, so let's grab... Uh, I guess that's... I thought I had more beams than that. Nope, I guess that's all we got. Okay, so let's go over to the kitchen area first and um, start replacing these stone floors with the wood floors. Now, can I use an upgrade hammer for that? I don't know. Let's just try it and see what happens. We get this out and we go R and choose this. We can. Okay, nice. So, I guess it'll keep the orientation of the stone ceilings. This makes it a little bit easier than having to pick them up first and then put them back down. Okay, so we need four more floor pieces. Okay, let's grab those. Um, I want... Oh, what are we out of? Oh, talk on it. We're out of refined wood again? Wow, we go through that quickly. Okay, let's just do as much more of that as we can make. And we'll finish upgrading those. There we go. It makes uh, it brightens things up a little bit in here too, so I, I like the I like the look of it. All right, now the next thing we need to do is we need to figure out how we're going to actually get up there. Um, so maybe we can't we can't really run a stairs this way because we're going to bonk our head on that. 
But what we could do is maybe run one this way. I'm not going to use thatch, of course. I'm just, um, you know, testing it at the moment. So, yeah, that gives us enough clearance. So we could maybe have stairs on both sides, I'm thinking. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go back over here. I'm going to put all of these stone uh, ceilings back in here. Or stone floors, whatever. And I want to make two of these. So let's cycle those out. Um, okay, well, yeah, there we go, okay. So let's make those two, oh, wait, stop, stop, I made three, that's okay, we're gonna need three eventually anyways. Um, and, <coughs> excuse me, I wanna make another one of these. Okay. So what I wanna do here is, let's turn this into stairs um well what if we actually just did it this way we have enough clearance to get through there i don't want to put it in the center because that's kind of you know our walkway into here that's that could work let's try it though the other way that i was planning on though first I was going to put it like this on both sides. And then, of course, we need... Um, we can do a couple of things here. We could either just bring this across again like so. Oh, we stepped on the fire. That's not good. Actually, that looks kind of cool. That actually looks kind of cool. I think we're going to run with that. Okay. Um, now what we're going to do is let's grab these triangular pieces. And we want to put those in here. This one. Like so. So this this can could be like our you know our, our will be our bedroom for now, but if I what the hell? How did that get damaged? I don't know. Um But if we decide to build a bigger loft, you know, up up against the back of the house, um, then we could maybe switch this over to like a storeroom or something like that. Okay, well anyway, let's do this. Now we're gonna grab these rails here. And we're going to put those up like so. Can these go on the stairs? They seem... They seem like they can tilt, but they're not... They won't snap on there. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So we can, you know, do something along those lines. And, you know, if we wanted a, a little bit more privacy, we could even build a wall... another wall I don't know though this you know this is kind of an open spacious feel and the privacy is just doesn't matter actually because it's just me anyway <laughs> so I wonder if it would look good though if we put a wall in here or either that or maybe some more of these rails the problem with the rails is they won't snap here because these are foundations and not floors I mean, we could do that, I guess. Um, and yeah, you know what? We could put some. We could put walls in too. Do I have any more walls? I do. Why don't we do something like this? Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, I'm down with that. So this is still, you know, open and spacious feeling, but we got some walls in place here. It doesn't matter so much in the kitchen because I don't know that we're going to be putting a whole lot more stuff in here. 
Uh, but where it's going to matter more is over here because, you know, we've got these crafting stations that are that were up against what used to be a wall. Plus, we have more crafting stations to build. So, you know, I might actually end up uh, putting a, some things in the kitchen just because of the fact that we need more room. But, you know, I could also reposition these and make more space because I got some gaps of stuff in here, too. So I'll, we'll just have to kind of see how that comes together. But anyway, yeah, I like that. I like that. Now, let's uh, do some, some post work, too. So what if we put that there? Do we have other options with these? I know we have different angles we can do, but... It almost seems like we should also then do this. Yeah. That, that feels right. That feels right. All right, I'm liking it, man. I'm liking it. So we can make uh, some real basic furniture. I hope they give us more options for that later on. But, you know, we can make a chair and a table and a bed. Where is the bed? Uh, oh, right here. Yeah, right here. So... Uh, I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll make furniture and kind of arrange, you know, the bedroom. But for now, we're just going to throw the bedroll up on top and, you know, keep it close, of course, to the fireplace here. So for now, we're just going to pop it right here. Maybe even right here until I can make some furniture, you know, to... Uh, to make this actually look like a bedroom. So yeah, it's looking good, man, looking good. All right, we're gonna do more or less the same thing. Well, no, we're gonna do exactly the same thing on this side as well, get that done. Uh, but I'm gonna need, I'm probably gonna need to get, you know, go cut some more wood. Um, the next thing on the agenda after that is, in terms of the house, is we need to get some lighting in here. Um, Cause you know, it's, it's gonna be, it's pretty dark without me having my lantern on and I don't want to have the lantern on all the time. Um, I'm trying to, to figure out if I want to do electric lighting. There's a couple problems with, with electric lighting. One, we have to run ugly wiring to it. Um, and two, I kind of like the more cozy rustic look that the, you know, that the fire, yellow fire gives us as opposed to the white electric lights. So, so we might just use like braziers and torches uh, to light the place or at least you know the main hall here um and probably the kitchen too we might use electric lighting in here because all the genies are going to be over this way anyways and this is kind of like the more crafting area but we'll see uh I, I, i'm sorry i meant like more modern type of area though not not that this is modern stuff per se but i don't know we'll see uh but definitely the plan is going to be to use you know torch lighting whether we use the wall torches or figure out something else in here to light up the central hall here uh, we have a trophy bench too so we might make some trophies and put them you know up on these pillars or something like that and really make things look very cool now I am a bit of a minimalist so you know we're not gonna just completely deck the place out and you know do go crazy with it either it's gonna be um, it's gonna be a little bit lean um, but you know that's kind of the way I like it and and besides there we don't really <laughs> have a lot of options for indoor furniture anyways in the game so there's that as well okay you guys well i think that gives you enough of an update uh, of where we're at with the house so i'm probably not going to bring you back until we get this side fixed up the same as that side and i get the lighting uh figured out at least you know for the main hall and uh, probably it will also get my bedroom set up and then once all that's done you know we need to start thinking about getting back into uh, you know, making the, the, the tier four stuff, you know, we need to make generators. We need to make the uh, food, pro uh, I'm sorry, material processor, electric furnace, all that kind of stuff. Um, and, um, you know, go from there. Okay. So that's it for now. I'll bring you guys back at some point with an update. All right, guys, we are back uh, with an update. So let's see. The very first thing I want to tell you is that for me in real life, uh, it's actually been uh, over a week uh, since I've played. Uh, if you are a regular on the channel, then you know, um, probably know, I should say, that uh, 
I had to travel to Washington State to attend my dear mother's memorial service, uh, which went well. It was a beautiful service and got to reconnect with family and friends and stuff like that. And so I've been completely away from my PC and my house and my state <laughs> uh, while I was away doing that. And um, so I'm just now getting back into the game. And I know we have a little bit more left over in this episode that I got to wrap up uh, for you guys. And so we're going to do that now. I also want to just uh, remind you or inform you if you don't already know that I have to unfortunately leave again and fly to Chicago um, for a business trip uh, and I won't be back until late Sunday night. Uh, today is March the 28th so this is the only um, uh, or, or this is going to be the last Icarus video I'm going to be able to get out to you guys before I have to leave. Uh, but when I get back we will definitely you know continue the series so there's a, there will be a few days um where there won't be any more or, or any new videos, but we will definitely resume when we get back. So I just want to make sure everybody is aware of that. And uh, so with that being said, uh, we had an update uh, while I was gone. It's the one that had the scorpions. And that update, uh, I heard that they f they made it so you can, no, you can no longer, or made it harder, I guess I should say, to... Olay the bears, but I w read through the patch notes and I didn't see anything about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if that is indeed the case. Um, no, that I didn't have any trouble olaying him there. Get out of the tree, bear. We're this is for science. Oh shit, we killed him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we took him out before we had a chance to to fully test that. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay. Uh well, the first delay, I didn't see any, any trouble with that, so I don't know. Uh, I did not see that in the patch notes, so maybe whoever said that, I think it might have been on my Discord, but I'm not sure. May have been confused about that. Uh, I guess we could go see if we can find another bear. There's a, there's only one bear that spawns. Well, usually, is there a bear? is that another bear? It is another bear. Holy crap! Okay. Uh, I usually get one bear that spawns on the island here. Okay, yeah. Let's try this again. I'm gonna actually. He's only a level 64. Nah, that he's. He's super easy to olay. Okay, so what I don't know why I was told that, but apparently that is not the case. Uh, which is good. <laughs> that's very good actually. Uh, because that's a major majorly important, especially when you're doing a speed run and you're starting out with you know just your exotics that you can bring down from the base or even less than that to survive these bears. Alright, cool. So that is not the case, uh, at least not in this particular uh, version of the game. Again, this is the the hot and cold update or whatever it's called, the one where they added the scorpions and changed the temperatures, stuff like that. All right, so anyway, let's see here. Uh, let's get all this stuff off of him, get the bones. Now, uh, before I left on my trip, I did uh, do some more work on the house. So let's just take a look and see what I did. I'm not even, I don't remember exactly <laughs> everything that I did do, but uh, we put some, I put a little bit of, you know, torch lighting in here. And uh, you need some more wood. Oh, I guess I was storing charcoal in there too. What are you, uh, what are you burning? Oh, you're burning coal. Okay, let's take half of that out and just throw it in here for now. There we go. Uh, so I put a little bit of lighting here in the central hall, as you can see. Um, I'll probably add more, you know, more lighting. I, at this point in time, I'm not planning on putting electrical lighting, at least not in the central hall. I am planning on putting electrical lighting in the crafting room and probably we'll put it in the kitchen too but uh in the central hall we'll keep it you know more rustic looking with the with the firelight so we added those and i'll probably you know put a few more torches in too uh, because if i turn my lantern off it doesn't light it up really good in here i mean it's you know but it, it probably will once we get a few more torches in like along the walls so maybe we'll put some up on these posts and stuff uh you know then it will light it up a little bit better so, okay, so we did that. Um, I built out this loft here. I don't remember if I had done that on camera or not. And I made a bed. 
And for some reason, the bed does not... Um, let's go ahead and sleep in it. Oh, what... Uh, wait a minute, what? There's a campfire right next to it. Does this no longer count as a campfire? Okay, here. Uh, anyway, the reason I put this here is because it wasn't registering the campfire right below it under the stairs. Um, maybe that's something that they fix. Let's just, let's go try that. Okay, we'll put this in here and pull all of that stuff out of there. I've got a lot of spoiled meat here, as you can see. Um, do we have room in here for? Eh, not really. Oh, you know what? I've got I've got to harvest the garden too. Okay, well I'm just gonna put all this in here then too. Let's put this stuff in here. And all right, so yeah, I don't think I did anything more with the kitchen since the last uh, the last thing that we did. I guess I have a torch there. What? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, but we did do some stuff over here. So I built this loft out as well, and as you can see, I now have a generator in place. And that generator is currently running the electric furnace, which I ground out, and the material processor. I think that's all I, I added as far as, you know, more more tech since uh, I left you uh, in the earlier part of this video. So uh, that should pretty much get us caught up, I think, to where we are. Um... I think so. All right, so I guess the next thing is I, I got to remember what the next thing is. We we got to you know this this uh, episode or I guess we should, we you could almost call it like mini series within <clears throat> with the season here, the Spirit Walk, where we're doing multiple episodes, just doing this stuff. Uh, you know, it is my intention still to to do a full build, um, not necessarily build everything we can build, but you know, build a lot of the high end uh, or end game stuff just for the hell of it, you know. Not necessarily because we need to. Um, and we are going to, before we wrap up this uh, mission, we still have 12 days left. This is a this was a 30-day mission. That's why I, I decided to go with it before I went on my trip because I knew I was going to need, you know, extra time to finish it. So we still have 12 days. And again, I you know, I'll, uh, I'll be back next Sunday night, which is six days, and we'll still have another six days or so even after I get back to finish everything up. Um, so I think we'll, we'll be okay with that. So, yeah, um, I, guys, I think that's probably about all we're going to do because uh, once I add this last little bit on to what I've already recorded, uh, we're going to we're gonna be at, you know, the end of the, the episode time here. So I think we'll do that, and then I'm going to go, you know, do my business trip, and then when I'm back uh, on that Sunday, um, April 2nd, I think it is, or 1st or 2nd, something like that, um, then I, we'll resume the series. We'll finish up Spirit Walk and then continue on here in Icarus. I, I know they've added some new missions, too, along with these updates. And we will check those out as well as continuing, you know, just uh, working the, the later game missions here in the game. Okay. So, guys, thanks for watching. hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.